Hello and welcome to the Slick IT YouTube channel. Today's uh, video presentation is going to cover the use of the uh, Windows 7 App Locker utility. This is actually a new utility that came out with Windows 7, although uh, similar functionality could be gained in a domain environment on a Windows Server 2003 server using group policy. But uh, as it is, this is actually included on a per computer basis and uh, will enable users or organizations to quickly lock down apps that they don't want end users to uh, run or, uh, you know, th this template can actually be deploy deployed uh, organization-wide and will greatly uh, improve both the security of the environment and uh, should, you know, help organizations control some of their help desk costs. So uh, to get this going, what you'll want to do is, uh, first of all, open the run dialog box. Uh, I, I prefer to use the uh, keyboard shortcut to do that which is going to be your Windows key and R at the same time and you'll get the run dialog box and in here we're going to simply type in gpedit.msc which will open the local computer group policy editing um, console and I'll just make this full screen for you now under computer configuration we're going to click here and we're going to click on Windows settings and I'll just uh, make this a little easier for you guys to see then we're going to click on security settings and from here we're going to click on application control policies And under that, you'll see the App Locker utility. Now, there are three main ways that we can create a policy. Uh, the first, and often the easiest, is to just block policy or create policies based on the publisher of the software that you are uh, looking to either allow or block. Um, so, if you don't want anything from Oh, well, let's say uh, Google to run then you would simply set up a policy so that any software that is signed by Google will not run um, the other ways that this can be set up is to deny you know software by path so if you uh, specify a directory anything located within that directory is going to be denied access to run or finally you can actually create a, a hash based on the characteristics of the software for a specific exe file that you don't want to run today we're just going to keep it simple and we're going to uh, block a program based on um, its path so simply click on the app locker icon and as you can see there are some um, options here you can configure whether the rule is going to be enforced or not and under the overview tab here you can see that we have no rules currently running so we can block scripts or windows installers or executables um, you'll also notice it says which editions of windows su support app locker looking at this you will actually see that it's only windows 7 enterprise or ultimate that allow this to run or of course server 2008 R2 so if we right click on this uh, sorry not right click but if we expand this and we click on executable rules and right click we can create a new rule and as you can see it says a rule is based on file attributes such as the file path the software publisher containing the digital signature. It doesn't actually mention the uh, hash but um, that is one of the options as you'll see on the next screen. Okay so we're going to uh, create a rule that denies everyone on the computer um, 
access to a program which I haven't decided what we're going to block yet so we'll leave that as is and then we'll click next and we're going to block it by path and we'll click next and we're going to browse folders and what we will do is I think we'll block FileZilla we'll click OK so you can see uh, it's put us at the top level directory of FileZilla and we're going to hit next and uh, now we can add an exception so if there's something in this directory that we actually want to run we can uh, do the same thing based on a file hash, a path, or a publisher uh, in this case we're just going to keep it simple and we're going to skip this and we're going to hit create and we're going to hit yes and here we go so we've created a new rule which denies everyone access to the FileZilla FTP client. So as you can see, it's extremely easy to create a rule that will uh, lock down an application for you. You'll find this is extremely useful if you have members of the public accessing a Windows 7 client at a kiosk or maybe some other environment where you have uh, you know, the public accessing a machine this is going to be an easy way to lock it down and protect that uh, investment and lessen the uh, support costs of running that kiosk. Anyway, thanks for watching us and um, we hope you'll come back soon.